Hello. We've just found this at the side of the road. It looks like an anti-aircraft mound that once was and it's been removed. But what's really making us think so is that that looks like a searchlight position. This is an acoustic direction finding disc built in 1930 in the interwar years by the Ministry of Defence. The elevated 27 foot diameter concrete base formed as a dish with a 24 inch high parapet wall around the perimeter. Built as a research test bed for an alternative to acoustic sound mirrors which were used in the First World War to track enemy airships. The Signals Experimental Establishment ordered this design and it was built by Royal Engineers. A small hut in the corner of the field was a transmitter and receiver station. A microphone array was built above this experimental structure to triangulate sound to ascertain a range and direction of potential enemy aircraft. By 1937 an AMES ADF, Range and Direction Finding, later known as Radar, station was built at nearby Ravenscar deeming this direction finding disc obsolete. Let's now see what is left behind in this former military research installation. Yeah, there's a concrete pad here and there. There's been an aerial here or something. Concrete plinth and it's got big bolts on it. There's a concrete pad there. Another one there. No, but there's a, there's an outline here as well. Yes. Something to tie something down. I can't say any more, but there could very well be some more. It's wartime era, with the the brick. The bricks and the concrete on top. Yeah, and it's got this like central spindle. At this time of filming, we didn't know it's passed as a direction finding piece of equipment that was experimental. We were just looking for searchlight positions and anti aircraft gun positions. We later learned that this was an experimental site. Yeah. Uh, that one. This was just a single pole mask. Yeah. And then they built that one. We like and, and they were like triangular ends on them, didn't they? Yeah. You know I mean? They would have slotted the spigot in the middle, and then the, the guy lines would have anchored to them. Yes. And this would have just been a short wall to keep the sheep out. Ah, yes. right, stop them. Yeah, stop them getting tangled up in it, maybe. Anti-sheep wall. Anti-sheep wall. There's nothing to suggest to me that it was a, a gun position or a no. position. No. It's just a concrete base. There's a concrete base on the outside there as well. Yeah. As if it's sort of got bigger over time and then they've abandoned it and made that one. Yeah. So radio mass position. Yeah. But it's old. Looking at them there. They're Second World War era, they're see, not. There's another eye there, look. Yeah, another tie down position. So then we'll just put guy lights. Could have been military and then police took it over after. Very likely, yes. Yes, Interesting indeed. The yeah, large concrete pad that's been bust up. Another islet. 
Yeah. It is likely that this is the only example of an acoustic direction finding disc of this type left in existence. It has no recognition as such and will likely at some point be demolished. Please subscribe for free to receive updates on new videos. ALW Exploration currently releases new videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm UK time. Thank you so much for watching this short video. Bye bye. Looking over my shoulder. Looking back at your door. In my head it goes over and over. Should I leave or want it more? Looking